Network Cable Support Installation Guidelines Explained There are many guidelines and rules for spacing and installation of non-continuous cable supports. These are given in the NEC and TIA standards as well as cable manufacturer's instructions. Local building codes must also be taken into account. There are five major guidelines to follow when using a non-continuous cable support such as a J-hook. Spacing and sag, pull tension, fill ratio, NEC requirements, and bend radius. The maximum allowable spacing between cable supports is about 5 feet. The cable tension should allow for no more than about a foot of sag between each support. It is best to stagger the spacing on a long run to prevent harmonic interference or crossover. The maximum pull tension should not exceed 25 pounds during installation to prevent damage to the cable. It is also best to use a cable pulley when pulling cable through tight bends. NEC recommends a maximum fill ratio of 40% of the total capacity of the hook. This allows for future modifications and expansion. NEC has several requirements for the proper installation of J-hooks. For example, J-hooks should be installed on clearly identifiable independent sealing wires or rods that are affixed at both ends. Also, cables should never be allowed to lay directly on ceiling tiles or rails. Bend radius refers to the minimum radius that a cable can be allowed to bend without damaging the cable. All changes of direction on a cable run should be gradual and smooth whenever possible. For UTP cable, TIA requires a minimum inside bend radius of four times the diameter of the cable. It is always the responsibility of the installer to ensure that proper bend radius is maintained during a cable run and at termination. In general, as cable has gone from category 5 to 7 to accommodate higher speed data transmission, the minimum bend radius required to maintain cable geometry has increased. For instance, the minimum bend radius of a CAT6A cable with an outer diameter of 0.3 inches should have a minimum bend radius of 1.2 inches. Use a cable support that has a base wide enough to inherently maintain the minimum bend radius of your cable. Docks JH series J hooks have a wide base support and beveled edges that maintain a minimum bend radius of 1.375 inches. A cable support with a 1 inch base creates a situation where the minimum bend radius could be exceeded. Once again, Docks JH series J hooks support a minimum bend radius of 1.375 inches, which is optimum for high speed cables such as Cat 7A. A cable support with a flat base tends to cause an abrupt bend as compared to a hook with a beveled or rounded base. A flat based hook can create pressure points that can change the geometry of the cable. This is easier to see with a single cable versus a bundle of cables, but the pressure point is always there. When you bundle cable together, they have an inherent stiffness that tends to prevent tight turns, but not these pressure points. Avoid situations that tend to kink or change the geometry of the cable, such as tightly cinched cable ties, staples, or knots. As cabling technology improves, some cable support manufacturers may use marketing misdirection to convince you that only their cable supports are up to code, and that previous cable supports have become obsolete. It is important to note that no code approves or disapproves of a particular J-hook or cable support. Cable supports are a simple and straightforward product. Follow the guidelines in this video and continue to use the cable support product of your choosing.